what's up y'all welcome back to the channel this video we're going to be talking about different tire sizes and how that impacts uh, your speedometer odometer and fuel economy readouts on your vehicle so just down this road there is a uh, little speed radar that reads out your speed you know trying to get people to stop speed and whatnot so we're going to use that as an example for what i'm talking about so i am going to set my cruise control here to 35 all right so cruise set to 35 i can't guarantee it's going to hold 35 perfectly but we'll keep on driving there's the radar okay alert and it's coming up right here so all this is doing is using a radar to read out speed it's you know with sending something out to the vehicle and coming back so 36 and we can see the speedometer never really read 35 so that's a little difficult obviously the truck went over 35 by a little bit during that um, but we're going to talk about what this means and what to do with it so using those signs isn't terribly accurate uh, what you could do is get a gps speedometer as long as you have a good gps signal it'll measure the speed of your vehicle obviously with satellite and that will give you a good readout i did that in one of my other videos so you can just download an app on your phone or if you want to get super accurate you can go buy one but my vehicle when i'm going 60 i just went on the wrong side of this when i'm going 60 i'm actually going about like 66 you know it's off by about 10 percent but we're gonna get that calculated right here all right, so first thing you need to do if you put bigger, I guess, or smaller tires on is figure out what the original tire size is. And you can do that in the driver's side door jam. Right there. Uh, obviously, that was upside down, but almost every vehicle should have that unless it got peeled off. It'll tell you the factory tire size that came on the vehicle right there. So obviously what happens if you put a larger tire on, it's going to have less revolutions per distance that you go, if that makes sense. So if I had a 10 inch diameter tire versus a 50 inch diameter tire, and I want them to go to the same distance, that 10 inch tire is going to do a whole lot more revolutions to go the same distance as the 50 inch tire. So with that said, let's figure out what this all means. So we got to calculate percent change here. So you take the new, so that's your new tire size minus the original, find that difference and do some math. So uh, my original tire size is 265-65R18. And you want to go ahead and convert that into metric. And the reason for that is a 265-65R20 is a larger tire than an R18. So uh, we want these all in metric just to get the exact numbers. And my new tire size is a 285-65R20. So original tire was 31.6 inches tall. The new tire is 34.6 inches tall. So that's a difference of 3 inches. Next, what you want to do is take that difference and divide it by the original uh, diameter. So 3 divided by 31.6 gives us 0 0.095. Multiply that by 100 and I get 9.5%. So the tires that I'm running on this truck right now are 9.5% bigger than the factory tires. So essentially that means my odometer is now off by 9.5%, my fuel economy is now off by 9.5%, and my speedometer is now off by 9.5%. So a quick way you can demonstrate that, my GPS speedometer says I go 66 and I'm going 60. So obviously there's a difference of 6 there, uh, if you want to see it, 66, numlock, 66, let me type here buddy, 66. Minus 60 is 6. I'm going to divide that by the original number, which is 60.1 times 100. That's 10%. So we're pretty darn close there with the 9.5 and the 10% difference in the speed. Obviously, um, it's rounding up. You know, it's not going to tell me that I'm going you know, 5.8 miles over, over the speed limit or something like that. So with that information, with that 9.5%, we can do a lot of things. Obviously, I'm going to round that up to 10. So if I'm going 30, I'm really going 33. If I'm going 40, I'm really going 44, 50, 55, et cetera, et cetera. It's a pretty easy number for me. Obviously, you might not be in that same boat. Uh, you know, if I was to put 37-inch tires on this, we can do that as an example real quick. Uh, so the difference between a 37 and a 31 would be 6 instead of that instead of three. So we do six divided by 31.6 and multiply that by 100. Uh, that's 18%. So 
uh, yeah, it's going to be off by a lot more. Your sp uh, speed's going to be off by a lot more. Everything's going to be pretty out of whack. That uh, fuel range, 220, same thing, 9%. So 220 times 0 0.09, 19, 220 plus 20, pretty much 240 miles. Uh, all right, cool. So when I fill it up, it's usually about 350. 350 times 0 0.09, 31, 350 plus 31. So I can go about 381 miles on a full tank, which is pretty darn bad. So yeah, there is that information for you. Um, how to calculate those differences on older vehicles when everything wasn't electronic it was pretty easy for shops to recalibrate the speedometer uh, now it's all in the computers and whatnot so I called around to a few shops and honestly they said they wouldn't do it Chevy dealership wouldn't do it some off-road shops said they couldn't do it and the few shops that said would they said it would take like four hours and they're gonna charge me $150 an hour so I said pass on that one um, you know older vehicles they have mechanical uh, whatever devices that read the speed so easier there anyway that's a little knowledge for you on calculating uh, differences and so yeah you can do it through tire size or if you use a, a GPS and your actual speedometer that's how you can calculate the difference so thanks for watching the video guys appreciate it if you like these make sure to subscribe it helps me out and we'll catch you in the next one